Hey guys, last time we left off, uh, we cleared our way through the streets to try to find Clementine. We're at the Marsh House, and I think things are starting to come together. Okay. Let's uh, check this room. Getting a feeling things are starting to come to an end here. Ooh. Somebody's moving around inside, I think. Off to Walker, though. Oh, just knock on the door first. <laughs> Seriously. Um. Got us adjoining rooms. It's not creepy at all. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't know what the best way to go about this is. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> Probably gonna try to keep the uh, weapons on him. Do you know who I am? I think I have an idea. Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car. Out front, then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I don't think we took I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. 
We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. Oh, wait a minute. They didn't get Was far. Was she the, um, lady you found the woods? Them a day later. In the road. Oh, no, I guess not. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? How did he get it though? Wasn't that with her parents? You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Wait, what? Okay. Why would you even say that? Just I bet you don't even know how now old she is. I think I want to have to kill him. She's eight. <laughs> Wrong. Why would you even say that? She's nine. Ugh. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Oh, well, he just said that. It sounded creepy. Ugh. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No, you're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Oh, just some of this guy just... Hey, honey. Why is he I talking think to the this bag? is all gonna work out. What are you... Oh, wait a minute, is that... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't okay, hurt Okay, that's fly. what he meant when he said <coughs> we, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, Oh, 
it. Just go away! Die! Oh, there we go. There we go. Somewhere safe. You That's what they were saying is weird things. Yeah, I know. Uh. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You saved me. I'm sorry you had to. But I'm happy you could. We should take a look around the room. Ah. Alright. Yeah, there's some of the things he was saying just sounded weird. So I had probably a good idea. Came here to take her away. Um. Then when I asked her if he heard her, she, uh, she said not really. So I don't know if he actually did or. But you know what? I think we'll call that an episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all next time.